Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your November the 6th Spiritual Principle Day in a Meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. The title of the meditation, Honest Self-Reflection. Honesty begins with not lying, but that's not where it ends. That comes from the Guiding Principles book, Tradition 10, Opening Reflection. With any luck, we're challenged to practice a bit of cash register honesty early in our recovery. When a cashier gives us too much change, it's tempting to quietly pocket it. But we do this right thing instead. We hand the money back rather than lying by default. Darn, that feels good. We get an attaboy from the clerk and have some righteous experience to share at the next meeting. We revel in the positive attention and even better, we feel proud of ourselves. This is a great start to practicing honesty, but it doesn't end there. The steps offer some important guidance for us as we sift through our past and examine our present state of mind and behavior. Personal inventories, long form as well as the frequent spot checks, help us develop a habit of honest self-evaluation. We take stock of our assets and liabilities, refining our lists in consultation with a sponsor and higher power, knowing, really knowing, Ourselves is a crucial element of recovery. Our relationships with others, with ourselves rather, with others and with our lives are enriched by our willingness to be honest. When we're in, good, in a good groove with honesty, we tend to surrender a little more and have fewer amends to make. Clarity about our character, our motivation, in our emotional lives means we're less defensive and more introspective. It turns out that having access to our feelings make it easier to connect with others. We build deep and lasting relationships with others who are also emotionally available. When we understand ourselves and our lives, it's easier to respond to the world around us in a way that's consistent with our values. For some of us, conscious living means that we find our voice and become advocates for causes that are important to us. We can hold strong opinions on difficult issues and still take care not to complicate the NA message. Clarity comes from honestly reflecting on our experience and sharing how living by spiritual principles keeps us grounded and growing. Our experience offers a vision of hope. Being myself is my best asset in carrying the message. I will take time for some honest self-reflection today. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today. Please and thank you. Self-reflection, honesty, becoming introspective. I like I like the concept here that having access to my feelings today, right? Not trying to cover them over with some chemical. You know, being an alchemist, <laughs> right? So not using drugs to dummy down my emotions or hype them up, right? Having access to my feelings today allows me to have better relationships with people, allows me to make better decisions. And those 
better decisions ultimately lead to better relationships because it affects the people that I'm engaged with, right? It allows me to have a sound mind. There's some other things that it does too. It takes away the excuses for being inept, right? It takes away those excuses because now I'm not blaming or using my addiction as a crutch. So with that, it would seem as though I would think, right? I'm submitting this to you, but I believe that if it takes away my excuses for being inept and it puts me in a position to make better decisions and it causes me to have better relationships with others, in essence, I'm more responsible. I am more responsible for my decisions and the things that come with it, the consequences of those decisions, whether they be good or bad. Obviously, when I'm using, they would be bad. I would be responsible for that, right? The outcome of choosing to use instead of show up and take a test, right? So the opposite of that is true. The good consequences are also my responsibility. But they don't just stop there. Honestly speaking, right? Speaking about honesty is that it can always have room to grow. That's just the truth. I wouldn't care how many years a person has. I would believe there's still a tendency to lie by omission. Tell half of it, not all of it, or tell them what I think they need to know. I think that's just what people do. Always trying to posture, engage one another when they're interacting to figure out, is this too much information? Is this TMI in this situation? And then refrain from sharing something because we've gauged it as being too much information and come to find out it's the very thing the person needed to know in order to even give us some help or to come into agreement with us. I think it's normal to do stuff like that. So I don't think you ever get away from it. I think that you get better at not doing it, but there's always room for improvement. And honestly speaking, speaking about honesty, there is always going to be room. You may not be having the cash register honesty issues anymore, but you may be having the fidelity issues in a relationship. Right? Not honest with your partner. Uh, how many people have walked in on their mates um, looking at porn and felt that they were smited, you know, that they were being disrespected, cheated on, right? Some people feel that way. So there's different levels of honesty. And today, all that we're going to do with this meditation is have an honest self-reflection, just like the other meditation, just for today, right? We're just going to have an honest reflection on ourselves and where we need to improve. So when you hit stop or you move on, because some people don't listen all the way through, right? When you move on from this meditation, that's that's your assignment. To reflect on how honest you are or not and then make the needed changes. My name is Maddie Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I definitely plan to.